Pisces, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your love readings for January and this is for the star sign of Pisces, so you could be a Pisces sun, moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus. I'm going to pull two different, I mean two sides, one yours, one the other person, but this is tarot, it is fluid, so take it as it resonates, leave the rest. Also, you might find me in a bit lesser energy today. That is because I'm running a flu and a fever, so my eyes are half closed. I'm finding it difficult to look at the cards, but somehow I'm invited to get the messages out, and I'm feeling very intuitive, so maybe this is the lunar eclipse, lunar energy setting in, but messages need to go. You will understand it. You are a fellow water sign, so you understand how moon does us crazy. And this is the... Wolf moon, okay, so the weird wolf in us comes out. All right, so Pisces, let's see your energy. You also have this music for manifesting. I look at the other person, you're manifesting, they're manifesting. What's wrong? You both are so magical. Set your sights higher, and they're like mother healing. All right, person Pisces, first of all, you you are definitely manifesting, and if you have not start using music. Maybe it will help you focus. Use a lot of mantras, meditative music, isochronic tones. They will help you focus on what you need because you deserve much better. Set your sights higher. There's something good that can come in your way provided you can manifest it. The other person whom you are connecting to has some issues with women. Okay, Could have, be having some mother issues. They could have set notions about women and else they, they could be, there could be some mother figure or they could be a mother of a child. And there are some things to do with motherhood which is disturbing in their life. But they definitely want to manifest you or they could be manifesting you. They, their manifestation is so strong that they have manifested you and you feel, okay, you know, I'm all theirs. But Spirit is telling you, you can deserve better than this person because this person has some other issues. So this relationship could be codependent, could be need best. But we'll see how Tarot, what Tarot has to say because Tarot will give us more insight, whether it's need based or whether it is because they need healing. But both of you are definitely manifesting. So their manifestation seems like working first. So they're getting you and you are not realizing that you deserve something much better or something bigger. So whatever you're aiming for, just get your aim higher. Okay, Pisces? Come out of the water. Look up at the sky. Let's see what your tarot has to say. This is the last. I'm going to cut it now. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Your energy, Pisces. You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Seven of Pentacles. And you have the Hierophant. Okay, not in a mood to compromise. The other person is a Page of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. Told you they have some issues and they have love. Your challenge is the Four of Pentacles. Their challenge is the Nine Page of Wands. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, by the way. They have this as their challenge. So, Pisces, I see that you want to manifest something better. You feel you deserve something better in your life, something more stabler. And I see you like a wounded warrior. That means you've you've gone through a lot of struggles this year. In a bittersweet. You've been very patient and you are still very patient with yourself. And with the Nine of Swords, you're like, you're on your guard. You're guarded. You're not letting people in easily. Not anymore. You're not letting people in, come in, go out as they like, you know, like a public library. You're in no mood for that. You're very guarded and you're very patient. It's like, if I go in, I'll go in for a commitment, a marriage, a long-term relationship or I would wait but I will not have all these vultures in my life to come and create problem that's your kind of energy you're like I'm patient I'll wait but I'll take the best 
and I'll 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 take commitment. I'll take nothing else. I need commitment, baby. Not I love yous and loves and hookups and dates. I need love. I need commitment. That's and that's why you're standing very strong. You're not giving up. You're like I have faith in love. I can manifest love, but I'll compromise only on love. Say that you will be with me forever, or don't say anything. You can leave. That's your energy. You are in some killer energy this month, January. I saw it in your finance. I saw it in general. Also, with your challenge being the Four of Pentacles, maybe you're not. You want to be rigid. You're not being able to. Somewhere you're giving away. You want to close. You want to be careful in whom you are saying what you are saying. You want to be careful in your expressions, but you're not able to. Somewhere, this person, the other person, you know, because. I see manifestation both sides. You are, you are trying to manifest them. They've already manifested you. So what is happening is you have all these talks going on in your brain. It's like buzzing in your brain. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to ask them for a commitment. I'm going to ask them for this. I'm going to ask them for this. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to compromise. And the next moment they call, you pick up the call. You're talking to them. They want to meet you. You're meeting them. You're four of pentacles holding on, being wise, being conservative, being... Closed off is not happening. You're trying. It's not happening. That is because they have manifested you. Their manifestation is strong right now. There is a lover's card here. So they see you as they love you. But they're again with a mental conflict of two of swords. It's a stalemate situation. They love you. They have made a choice to be with you. But they cannot commit to you. Lovers. They want to stay lovers. There cannot be any commitment. So that's why the stalemate situation, two of swords, they cannot decide, they cannot cut the cord and because you need commitment, you are harping on commitment, they are harping on love, they're like we love you and you're like I know you love me, marry me and they're like I can't, this is how, this is the far I can come right now, this is what I can give you right now, I can give you love, a lot of love but no commitment because I'm the page of pentacles, I'm not yet settled. There is lack of money. I'm struggling with money. I'm struggling with work. I'm not strong enough. I don't have a financial strong foothold. I'm still learning. I'm still a learner. Maybe I'm a student. I cannot commit. So love is what I can give you. All I can offer you is love. Unconditional love. And this is a stalemate situation for us. Because I cannot decide. I cannot cut you out of my life. At the same time, I cannot be with you. So I'm in a stalemate situation. That's what with them, Pisces. That's how they are at this point of time. Their challenge is, you yeah, see, they don't have the confidence. They're still the page of pentacles. They're the learner. They're learning. They're not confident on themselves. That's the reason their challenge is the page of wands. Lack of confidence. They don't have confidence in themselves and in their relationship. They don't know whether they would be able to commit or take this relationship to a serious level. That's the reason they're not committing to you because they're not sure of their own actions. They're kind of scared. They're, they're lack of confidence, immature. What I feel is your person is very immature. Outcome, Pisces, you have the wheel of fortune. Something is changing. This is karma. This is destiny. Knight of Wands. So this could be this page suddenly becoming the knight or this could be somebody new coming towards you taking fancy for you and the king of souls okay your advice first you have the ace of pentacles so there is a new beginning and the eight of cups so Pisces we'll come to this we're coming we are coming here but you want something new manifest set your sights higher the message was very clear Advice is also the same. Focus on something bigger, better, which has potential of growth. Ace of Pentacles. Focus on your Pentacles. Focus on your growth. Okay? And leave. Be ready to leave certain things. If it's this person, be ready to leave them or move away from them or forget everything, whatever, and take what they're accepting you because that has a potential of growth. If they have offered you something, not a commitment, but something. It's your choice. You can take it, you can leave it. If you take it, then you have to leave all your thought processes behind. 
You have to go with the flow and let it grow if it grows. Because this has potential. Whatever they're giving you, it's small, but it has potential. But if you have decided, if commitment is your priority, then look for something new, then move away from this person. So prioritize what you want in life. Set your sights higher and use music for manifestation. Clear your mind and think, what do you want? You want this person, you want the commitment. If you want a commitment, it can come from anybody. If you want this person, then commitment, no commitment, you should be with them. Okay? Now, the outcome. You could have two people coming towards you. One elder to you, one your age. One very practical, doesn't believe in love and, you know, is a moneyed guy, authoritative guy, senior to you, talks very practically, is a good communicator, knows how to talk, smooth talk their way in. You cannot manipulate them, but they can manipulate you. Or you could have a knight of wands coming towards you. Now, this could be this person who can bring in a lot of hot moments, but they are in and out. They come in one moment and it's very passionate. Next moment, they're gone. They will only reply once in a while. They connect with you. You can only connect with them when they want to. So when they're in town, they want to have fun with you. When they're not, they're not. They're not there for you. Whereas you also have the king of souls. This could be you also bringing in this energy of really putting your thoughts towards, do I really need this guy? Do I need the, really need this girl? Are they really important? Because I see this times changing for you. Wheel of fortune. This is destiny. You're questioning your destiny. You're questioning your time. But this is definitely destiny playing for your favor. Moving out things that don't serve you. So if this person is not maturing and you're willing to let go, then you could have two people coming towards you. And if you are willing to give this person a chance with or without commitment, then you could be the wise one. You could be questioning them, their actions, because they are an in and out energy. They're definitely an in and out. Even if you say yes to whatever they're offering, because it's all about love with them. But if you say yes to that love, again, they're in, they're out. They're in, they're out. So you start questioning. But I see with the king of swords, if this is you, you will get your way. You will either get them straight, straighten them up for good or release them for good because you are changing your destiny. Destiny is playing a big role this month for you, Pisces, okay? So, all right, Pisces, make your wise choice, make your decision. This is what they can give you, whether you're okay with it. If you're okay with it, go with it. If you're not, Make a wise decision because that's what you'll become, the king of swords, okay? All right, so I'll leave you to here because I'm really, really not feeling very well. Now my eyes are completely shut and I'm going to drop off now because I think my fever is rising. So I'll see you later, but this message was very strong and maybe it needed to go out to all of you who needed to hear this. Have a wonderful January. I'll see you later after the eclipse. Hopefully things will be better. And we'll see what messages come out in love. So Pisces, take care. I'll see you later. Bye.